the year 2020 has been an emotional roller coaster for many different people. Some people have lost their jobs. Some people were told that their jobs were not essential, so they were essentially not working. However, they may not have been laid off. But for a lot of different people, their job was in question. People may have considered looking at other job opportunities because of how questionable their line of work was. For some of those who lost their jobs are now looking at what are they going to do to pay their rent or to pay their mortgage or to pay their car note. And if you're one of these people that are considering looking at other jobs, I'm going to talk about the one industry I know a lot about, and it's the industry that I'm currently in, and that is truck driving. Now let me get this out of the way before I get into it. Truck driving requires special licenses. It, can, it needs a CDL, Commercial Driver's License Class A, to drive a tractor trailer, and a Class B to drive a straight truck. I'm not going to get into the specific details and weights for each different vehicle, but that's a generalization. However, truck driving is not for everybody as it requires time out on the road. And a lot of people are going to be home, away from home, for more than a few days at a time. Truck driving is a job or career that does pay exceptionally well, however. It is also one of the more or most dangerous jobs in the United States as it is a very deadly job as in there are a lot of deadly crashes involved. Now let's get into the pay and these are my personal experiences, personal knowledge about the industry. Some companies can pay as low as 34 cents per mile. They, some could pay lower, I'm not sure but up to a dollar plus a mile as well for some. And these pay rates do vary on your, your personal experience and the company that you're working for. Now a truck driver can make anywhere between, I wanna say 35,000 to 100,000 plus a year. Owner operators can make a lot of money and the owner operator is obviously somebody that owns their trucks and operates their own business. Now again, driving a truck is not for everybody as, like I said, you will be away from home for more than a few days at a time. When I first started driving, my wife was with me and I was out on the road for anywhere between three months to six months at a time before coming home. However, that was my personal preference at the time. I did not really have a home to go to was my wife and I were living on the truck, so we stayed out on the road for a long period of time, which is an option, and you will make more money that way. However, now, I live in an apartment with my wife in downtown. So, with that being said, it's got more incentive for me to be home. So, I am now with a company that I stay out for about a week or two two weeks at the most at a time and then I come right back home so I'll go to work get my truck pick up my trailer head out stay out for a week or two and then come right back one thing to note about pay for truck drivers is a lot of us get paid on a weekly basis and we average around I want to say $900 to $2,000 a week. And I'll bring home around $1,000 every week after taxes. Now, if you want to get into the industry and you're not sure how, let me say the way that I got into it. And at first, I really had no desire to become a truck driver. Uh, however, I found a company that said that they will pay for you to get a CDL. So I contacted them and I went, then I went to their school and they paid me to go to their school so long as I signed a contract to stay with them for a certain amount of time. 
Now, I went to their school, which was a pretty fast-paced school, until you got to the road park. However, they did pay to, they did pay me to get my CDL through them. They went they took me down to the DMV or DPS and got or I then tested to get my CDL. I passed, got my permit, and then I went back a week later, did my road test passed and got my official commercial driver's license class A. And then I went out on the road with the company for a few months for training over the road training. And then after that I got my own truck. And then the rest is history after that. Now guys with uh, going the route of a company driver you are not expected to pay for any diesel you're not expected to pay for any upkeep of the truck. You are, however, responsible for reporting damages and all that. So you are not putting any money into the business as a company driver, which is, in my opinion, the smarter route to go if you want to make money. Now, uh, let me get into the driving a truck during the pandemic. Yes, I did slow down during the pandemic just a little bit. However, I picked right back up. And during the actual lockdowns of the pandemic, I was given a document stating to authorities that I was allowed to be out and about in my personal vehicle and in my truck to operate and you know to go to work. This gave me freedom to roam around the country when others were forced to stay home. That was one of the major perks of driving a truck. And that is one of the bigger reasons why I say driving a semi-truck is going to be a very good career choice in an SHTF situation as we will likely keep going as a lot of other businesses stop. So guys, to do a quick recap on this, as long as you have a, or a Class C driver's license with a good driving record, you can easily get a commercial driver's license class A or B and even get paid to get one. You'll need a class A driver's license to drive a tractor trailer, which pays exceptionally well. This career will also give you freedom of movement around the country during extensive lockdowns. You guys, one last thing. If you have lost your job, if you have lost your home, Driving a truck, so long as it has a sleeper, will give you a bed and a roof over your head and income in your pocket. So that's going to do it for this one. Please like and consider subscribing. Thanks. Y'all have a good one.